Okay, so we're going to get our um, parts for our covering frame out now. And this is a fairly simple activity. All we're doing is we're just joining these pieces up. So you take the short pieces and set them in like that. You don't set them around that side, so in like that. And we'll glue the other long one up to the other end of this. Doesn't have to be super accurate, but you want it to be fairly square. Looking at the uh, camera screen, this looks anything but square. It looks like it's converging in. Um, that's parallax error. and I'll prove it to you, which is, it's coming almost exactly on there. Off by a little bit, but not much. I'm going to drop some glue in here, and over here. So at that point you have the, uh, let's see, can I get it? Yeah, close enough. Not even, yeah, it's kind of going floppy here. Bottom line is I'm trying to just kind of do it quickly. So that's done. And uh, next we'll need to measure out our covering so we can cover this airplane. Okay, so we're going to take some uh, Vaseline. If you've watched my build videos, you've seen this step uh, several times. Uh, different videos now that feature it. So we're just going to put Vaseline all over this guy. And there we go. Set that aside. Clean your hands before you cut the handle the covering film uh, because that's the next thing we're going to do. Okay, now that I have decently clean hands, um, your covering film is not going to come in this format. I'm just pulling some out from my roll of um, polynitro film. Seem to have lost the end. There we go. There we go. Make sure that your table you're working on is fairly clean. Mine is not, and so this could get interesting. Apologize. Apologies for screaming in the background. It is late at night and little kids become temperamental late at night and scream for no particular reason even. Unfortunately, that's when my build time occurs. Alright. So then, what we're doing Stretching the film out, and now I'm going to take it over here. Let me slide you back so you can kind of see what's, what's happening here. I'm taking this over here in the corner. I'm wadding it up in a ball. A teeny, 
tiny, teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny little ball. Like that, and I'm continuing to wad it up into a teeny tiny little ball until I'm satisfied. It is fully crinkled into happiness. There we go. Covering frame into play. And there we go. Got a little bit, just enough excess on the edges around here, but it's all in there. There, now you can see most of it. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to find my razor blade here. Make sure this is tacked down. And come over here. And whoops. There we go. And I'll cap, come back when that's done. Okay, uh, we will roll this back up like so. That way it is there for another day. And now, you can simply lift your covering frame with the covering off like that. Check tip. Oh, don't drop it. But a few places where it's a little loose. Just way tension those up a little. And there we go. Ready to cover. Okay. So um I'm not going to show you spraying the uh, 3M77 on the flying surfaces. We have another video uh, that, that really details that, um, and it, it would be redundant for me to do it here. So um, watch that, link in the description, and then come back and, uh, and hit this up. Before we cover, there's something I meant, should mention. You want to not take these pieces out there and spray them. For example, these on the same side here, you want to turn one of them around like that. Same with your, um, your um, fins. Now, with the, the flying surfaces, it's the same as in our, all our other covering uh, frames. The curved surface that curves this way, and the spray adhesive goes on here, not from the bottom. That's all you need to know. Okay, so you can see how we have the everything laid out. Kind of get yourself a screen grab of this pattern or something. Um, because this is, and, and you can see these are almost touching here, all that type of thing. Um, that's that's kind of what's necessary to get everything on the covering frame. Um, because there's, there's a lot of airplane here. Do you want to slide those far enough apart that you can separate them uh, with your heat? melting instrument, whatever your weapon of choice is. And now, since we've got everything adhesive side facing up, we can bring this in here and take your time doing this and, you know, bring it in, lay it over, say, oh, not everything's going to fit, so I'm going to back off. Um, you know, do that several times as needed. 
you don't have to come in and make the perfect uh, landing approach for your covering frame on the first shot. And now we just go around, right, use our finger here, use a finger that doesn't have glue on it to lay down all of the um, outlines of all of our flying surfaces. And this is basically just the same way you see in all of our covering videos. And just as a reminder, is a, just to say it once more, because somebody's going to ask it, 3M77 is your spray adhesive of choice. Use it and enjoy it's awesome. And now it's all done. Everything's attached. It's attached firmly. And I'll cut out one flying surface and then we'll uh, leave the rest to your imagination because, you know, it's after you've seen one, you've seen them all. Um, we've seen several videos from us on doing this, so I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the wings. So I've just got a 30 watt soldering iron. Um, a little cautery is a better idea, but I have a soldering iron and not a cautery, so I'm going to use soldering iron. And so I left a little gap right there. That way I'm just not trying to take the whole thing off at once. Here I'm just melting, I'm basically getting these out at the same time. Um, now this is where your wing um, center is going to attach, so get the film cut back against that. Same with the stab uh, center. And that's just to give you a shot at a, a better bond uh, for your tissue tube. Sorry, I'm just getting out here. I've left two little tabs over there, and now I'm gonna zip across here. And I stripped a little bit of covering off. Boo! I'm back here at the center section, where I kind of eat that up against there. And now free, free. Free and free. And I missed one. Free. So there's your wing. All pretty like. Beautiful wing. Completely done. Alright, I'll cut out the rest of it and then we'll uh, we shall return. Okay, so what I have done is I've glued the um, Stab tips on my uh, on my my stab now the fins. Um, I made sure this is the panel that's about six inches long and this is the one that's about five point eight. So um, that means this is the left side. So fins facing back, covering on the outside. And we'll go ahead and we'll show you the same thing on the wing here. So on my wing, this is the part that's more curved. The side that's more the so that's the leading edge, so we already know this is the left side. So I'm going to take one of my, um, if I can get it off here, one of my wing tips, and this is the one that's for the left side because the covering fits on this side when I'm looking at the swept back like that. So we're going to attach it over here. And so all I'm doing again is putting glue. Um, on the front and the back of this. I'll lift this guy up a little bit. And we're just going to drop it on here. And look at that. And I've got adhesive all over my hand. 
get that to bond. We want to make sure we're bonding to balsa and carbon, not covering. So sweep aside any covering that's uh, draped over the edge. And there you go. And you do want this straight up and down. I come over to the right side and we're going to repeat that. And there we go. So we've got our tip plates installed on what is a very nice looking carbon wing. And it's nice and stiff because I can do that and it doesn't flex at all. Alright, and we'll be back in a moment.